How's it going guys, Alex here. Welcome back to another Blazing video and today we're going to be showing off the skill Kakashi which of course has all of his abilities. A limit broke him and he is just a massive troll when it comes to PvP because he can dodge. So it's pr a pretty scummy thing to do just because dodging is pretty broken when it comes to PvP and on top of what he can do when it comes to, you know, just his dodging abilities. He also reduces heart damage by 20%, which is pretty solid. But the thing that sticks out the most by far on top of his dodging is that he can immobilize opponents for 4 seconds. And that basically guarantees that you've won the game. If you manage to immobilize an opponent, that honestly just gives you a massive chance of winning on top of the chance that you had before. It's a 30% chance, so it's not as high as, of course, some of the other chances in the game. But 30% is pretty high for immobilization, and if it does go off... You're pretty much set and the thing that i'm going to be showing off the most of course is that dodging ability this is the team that i'm going to be using and of course the body skill from um the sage of six plus naruto is just a 20 percent chance of dodging so pretty overpowered body skill especially when you combine him with what kakashi can do already and i hope i'm explaining everything as best as i can because i'm not the greatest by any means when it comes to how certain things work in, you know, in this game in particular. It's probably pretty simple to um, the majority of you, but I'm not exactly caught up in the majority of these things. But I have a pretty basic understanding of how it works. So, if we could find an opponent straight away, that would be nice. And of course, I made a bit of a change to the team. I am running Kaka um, Kakashi just for the sake of this video. And I have been using him somewhat just normally as well. But I think I prefer my previous setup. Of course, now I put the um, Sasuke in that first slot just so that he can stop the chakra recovery for the enemy. So, let's see how this works. And the biggest issue is that quite a lot of the time, it doesn't actually stop the chakra recovery. But hopefully, it's actually going to happen this time around. I think uh, Madara is going to dodge. Oh, yeah. It missed, basically. But I do believe I managed to seal his recovery, which I did. But now, he... Could have done that to me. I think he may actually do that to me. No, he can't. So he can't. Well, he can stop the recovery of one of my units, but he isn't going to give his other unit chakra because he can't get two of my guys to get hit. <laughs> that makes any sense. So he went for my Naruto, which honestly isn't a bad choice, but it doesn't matter that much anyway. I mean, I could switch over to the Sasuke and hit two of his guys, and actually, never mind because I'm in the chakra reduction pool. Isn't that nice? I should probably start utilizing that a bit more. I don't think they give you enough time. But then again, if they gave you way too much time, it would just get annoying. So I'm actually going to aim to immobilize someone here with Kakashi. I can get an attack to go off with Sasuke, but I'm not going to be able to hit two people. So there's no point, really. I am... This is actually kind of bad. Honestly, I'm going to aim for him. Not the greatest thing, but at the very least, we do have a time advantage, so we are going to deal a bit more damage. And I missed. Okay, but I missed, but it did do a nice amount of damage there, to be fair. All right, let's go for this. Doing just a tiny bit of damage, honestly, even helps. But we still have the Kakashi out. I'm just waiting for me to get attacked. Honestly, I may not even use the Sasuke, just so that I can use the Kakashi the entire time. But at the moment, this is, like, doesn't honestly seem to be that much of a problem. I mean, we, we have the um, Sasuke that is capable of attacking, or Jutsu. Using his Jutsu, I'm going to have the One-Tail Naruto as well at some point. I think I'm going to aim for his Curse Mark 2 Sasuke. Okay, never mind. He switched over to his other one. So I can't do much here, and that's the biggest issue. And I normally would run... Uh, let's not go for that. I normally would run the... Um, what do you call it? That's what I was going to say now. I thought... No, wait. No, I normally would run the PC Naruto, but Haku just provides way more when it comes to the offense. It's way more health as well. So that's definitely one of the things that makes me run him over um, the PC Naruto. And this game has honestly been pretty slow. I honestly expect the pace to pick up a little here. So I'm going to go ahead and take him out like this. Honestly, I may be able to take him out completely. I mean, I did stop it. Like, the reason why I don't particularly like what the Naruto can do is because when I, whenever I get to actually jutsuing with him, I've basically, basically already taken him out or him or her out, which means that 
what he can do is kind of useless. Just because, what's the point in sealing the jutsu or um, sort of the switching if I've already taken them out, you know? Like, there is no need for them to switch because they legit um, legitimately can't. That's one of the things that's just like, okay, he's good, but I don't think his ability is as good as Sasuke's. But I could be wrong. I mean, if I am wrong, let me know. Or maybe I'm just not utilizing him correctly. And I legit haven't lost anyone yet. I'm honestly surprised. Okay, so that is what I'm talking about. It's not like it would have made much of a difference anyway, but am I going to out... Oh, I am going to outpace him or her. Um, The biggest issue here is that I just simply don't have that much chakra. And Sasuke is going to go for... I, I forgot her name. I'm legit on this episode as well. I'm actually so annoyed. I haven't seen it in a few days because I've been pretty busy, but I legit forgot her name. I, I'm, I think it starts with a G. It's either G or an I. I think. I am pretty certain it's a G. I'm going to double check after. Right. Um. I. F well. Remember how I said that ceiling is useless? Just never mind. Well, he is probably going to take out one of my guys with the Sage of Six Path. Yeah, he's going to go for my Sasuke. Which is probably the smartest thing, but no one went for my Kakashi. Did they know the troll tactics? Are they aware? Um, okay, finally can switch. So, unless this misses, I think I've taken him out here. But I do want to show off my Kakashi a bit more, obviously, because the video is dedicated to him. It, this could be bad. I could legit take a massive L here. He could switch to Madara. This could be very bad. But on this, I think he is going to switch to Madara and then he's going to Jutsu. But not... Wow. That was kind of pointless because I thought he would have gone for my Kakashi. Apparently not. Oh, boy. Wait, never mind. He can't even Jutsu me anyway. But this one battle has legit taken almost like five minutes. This normally never takes this long. This is one of those rare occurrences where it just takes, like, way longer than expected. Do you dodge? Alright, there we go. I was expecting a dodging showcase for Madara there for a moment. So, after that poor performance by Kakashi, I honestly have no words. That was legit the worst thing I've ever seen. He just can't dodge. He had multiple chances to dodge, and I know it's not exactly that high of a chance, but I honestly had higher expectations. And he was, like, frequently... Dodging earlier, but for some reason he just doesn't want to dodge now. Yeah, it's actually really annoying. Of course, now he does it. <laughs> and I don't really need it. That happens. Okay, so what's he going to do here? He's going to dodge again. Watch. Okay, he didn't. Why couldn't he do that earlier? I bet he's going to seal now. He is 100% going to stop. Or um, he's definitely going to immobilize in here. Watch. Immobilize. Okay, you missed, but that's not the point. So, you get that. Look, I have no words. I legit have no words. He legit dodged already in this one game. Like, combined. He dodged way more in this one game combined than he did in the previous ones. I don't even think he dodged once in a previous game. So that is the most frustrating thing, honestly. I'm trying to show him off. And it's just like, no, I'm not going to dodge. Right, so he's done for. And his Monato is pretty weak as well. But you can't actually never mind. I mean, the Monato doesn't have that much health, but you can pretty much dodge everything now. So I'm in a interesting predicament. Um, I can actually hit them both. I know there's no point in going for the Monato, but everyone just wants to dodge now. Everyone wants to join the dodging party. Mark my um, Sage of Six boss pretty much done though. He's going to heal up a bit here. Uh, Monato's going to take him out, maybe. I do have the Kakashi still in play. And he's probably going to... Okay, he didn't dodge. I think I'm overestimating the dodge. I've just seen it go off so frequently. But, I mean, that's what just that's just what happens in these videos, of course. Like, whenever I want to show off something, it's just like, no, it's not going to happen. Alright, so he's done. And the Kakashi is in play again. But I'm just going to keep him out for the sake of keeping him out. I want to show off that dodge again. And why is... Everyone else is just dodging now. I have a ton of chocolate at the bottom there. And... Okay, that was a bit of a surprise. Um, I mean... 
I don't really need to stop the trap for recovery, but might as well give it a go. Alright, did we stop Madara? Uh, I actually think we stopped it. Wait, yeah, we stopped it for both of them, didn't we? Oh, wait, never mind. There's only two in play because I took out his other guys. Please. I just want to see this one time. Just dodge this one. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted to see more of that. Like, can you imagine if that happened last time? I would have been fine. But I got absolutely demolished by the game. Alright, so I think we are going to take him out here. Okay. That was so anticlimactic. But you get the point. In those certain situations, it can just happen like, so frequently. I just got so unlucky in the previous games. But when it goes off, it's just such a massive troll. It's definitely one of the most annoying things about PvP. And I know I can't exactly talk because I'm pretty much using one of the most out um, overpowered teams. When it comes to PvP, I could make it worse by running a just a ton of different... Well, not different. A ton of... By the new Sasuke and, and the new Naruto, but I went ahead and just fed the abilities into them, all the dupes into them. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's blazing video. <coughs> But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's blazing video as always. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. For but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's blazing video as always. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you all in the next one.